Hey guys, welcome back to My Wild and Wonderful. Today we're talking about mushrooms, and more in depth than usual. We're going to really, really, this is kind of the mushrooming video to end all mushrooming videos, as far as what I'm sure about. I found some honey mushrooms, which I'll describe as, you know, they're gilled, they have a, a light, light tan top with a center where the stem attaches to the cap, a bit darker, you can find some blackish, brownish hairs, sometimes blackish, brownish um, types of scales. But I didn't include these in this video because they're not a beginner's mushroom, and I myself is, I would consider myself an intermediate, I'm not great at it, and I don't want to put out any information that you might get a little you know, turned around on because there's an Amanita mushroom out there that is considered dangerous. And if you don't know some of the key identifying characteristics, even though the spore print is the same, they look nearly the same, minus the fact that a honey mushroom's stem goes down smaller than a club like base. Um, so we'll just skip over that one for now, but we've got plenty here in this episode. Stay tuned, check it out, and follow me through the woods here in my wild and wonderful West Virginia. And we'll get some good edible fungus. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so catching up with you here. I'm up here in the woods. Home is way back that way. And over here in some pine trees. Gonna look around, see if we can find some more of the cauliflower mushrooms, some more honey mushrooms, and so on. I may have to go back up on the hill before I can find any. I've done anything. I doubt they have, but. We'll check them out. Catch up with you in a minute. Okay guys, right here is something else that I've found. I just call them jelly fungus. But those are actually edible and very medicinal. I'm sorry that I didn't show the branch I got it off of. It's off of an, uh, a dead stick. It's a hardwood, but it came off a stick, not an actual tree. I suppose you can find them on logs, too. I also kind of showed that orange fungus. It's much like the jelly fungus, but it's orange. And it, it's also down here on these trees. You can see some of it right about there. And on down, you see little splotches of this stuff. Got some down there and just little scattered spots of it. I want to do more research on those two because that's that seems pretty interesting. I remember watching a video on YouTube discussing these things. And uh, like I say, I remember just seeing the YouTube video discuss them. And it's just, I forget what the actual name of it is, but I, I forget now. Okay, guys, this is amazing. I'm so giddy about this. These are a little bit older. But these are oyster mushrooms, okay? These are very edible, some choice edible mushrooms. We've got gills up underneath. We have very little to no stem under there. The gills go straight to the stem. <clears throat> Those are still edible, they're a little old. <clears throat> Bunch of oysters, okay guys. Let's go ahead and get them. They're getting old. We can see the discoloration here. They're just getting older. But these are still good. And uh, something else is all growing off this tree that's beautiful. Look at that. What are the chances? Red's Black Cherry Ale growing right out of the tree. Now, guys, I don't know about y'all. But that's a fine and a half for me. Oyster mushrooms and freaking like fruit ale? Yes! I'm I'm pretty pumped. Everybody, welcome back. This is uh the end part to this uh mushroom hunt. I'm up here this evening, it's about 6 p.m. And uh we're in the middle of a mostly pine area down in here. And we're gonna go in there and look for some different types of bolites, so we'll listen, see what all's there, uh see what mushrooms are popping up out of the ground. So I'm going to go through the woods here and we'll try to find some more mushrooms and see what else is going on. I guess my idea is where some puffballs usually grow and I uh, will catch up with those in a minute. I'm going to check these woods right here real quick and see what all is growing. Um, look around the woods here, see if I can find some bow leads, maybe some sewillas, some turkey tails. Um, I, I don't know, but I just wanted to kind of get out there and do a little bit more. 
So we'll catch up with you in a minute. Literally five seconds, maybe ten seconds after I signed off with you guys, I found some more mushrooms here that are uh, and not really edible. They're medicinal, called turkey tails. We've got right here this whole shelf. Try to pull them off here. And you'll notice you got a white underbelly, very, very white underneath, okay, and are darker. Over here you have some what looks like turkey tails, but I only get the ones that are particularly dark and look like a turkey's fan, the tail, and they're very white underneath, okay. We'll take these home, we'll clean them up, trim them up a little bit, and see what we can get to come out of them. Find us another little mushroom here. This is an old pine log, so it could be could be a number of different mushrooms. There's you guys, I just found something that's an awesome find that is very important here. I found a poisonous mushroom called the deadly gallerina. Right here she is. I don't know how well you can see. Looks kind of like the honey mushroom on top. The orange gills and everything on the bottom. That's likely a deadly guy around on, and it's named that for a reason. It can, uh, it is a, a toxin that shuts down your livers and your kidneys. So, well, I mean, your liver and your kidneys. You only have one liver. Anyway, so there you go. Hey guys, guess what I just found? Yeah, chanterelle. Beautiful. Ridges. Okay, we've got good ridges here. We have zero gills. Those are all ridges. If they were gills, you'd be able to move them with your finger. But those are all ridges. Okay. We break them in two. We look inside them. We've got a whitish. Okay. Those are not deadly jack o' lanterns or poison jack o' lanterns. Those are chanterelles. Fantastic, guys. I'm happy about that. Let's move on and see what else we can find. Is my take. That is hen of the woods. Sheep's head. That is, oh, 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 thank you, Jesus. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. They are beautiful. And the bugs haven't got to them either. Wow. All right. <laughs> that is a huge find, guys. It's very important. It's very. It's a great find. When you're looking for, for mushrooms and everything, you find a... A mushroom, the hen of the woods, that is, that's the culmination of what many, many, many mushroomers dream to find. And what people don't necessarily find a whole lot of during the, the span of their lives. Guys, look at this thing. He is a pig. Oh my goodness, he's a pig. Beautiful. Beautiful maitake. Wow. I found a little special guest here to star on the show. This guy. See the little warts? Okay. Those warts, they can come off, but they grow off of the actual mushroom. This is a species of Amarillia and is deadly toxic. Yep, that one is not good. So, as a good example, take a mental picture. Yeah not okay to eat hey guys we're starting to lose a little bit of light here i need to sit down and take a cigarette break because if i get any more excited i'm just gonna fall over fall over clean over dead y'all don't believe this but guess what i just saw yep that is what you might think it is that is a sulfur shelf mushroom yep my favorite, my favorite mushroom so far of all. Right there growing on a tree. <laughs> oh, I'm belly laughing at this one, guys. It has been a fantastic day. I'm so glad I decided to come on back up here. It was so worth it. Found hen of the woods, chicken of the woods. Well, sulfur shelf. There's actually two different types of late porous mushroom. Okay, guys, so real quick, just to sum this up. Oyster mushrooms, this whole collection. Sheep's head, maitake, hen of the woods, turkey tail, chanterelles. This is called the jelly 
mushroom jelly roll mushroom actually haven't identified these yet chicken of the woods or sulfur shelf these are actually sulfur shelf you grow right off a tree guys today has been fantastic this is my wild and wonderful with a day of mushrooming signing off we're going to show you a little bit in another video about some deer cooking some frying some mushrooms gosh it's been a great day